Hello, my name is Alexander Messery. I'm a technical engineer at the Ceph eDelivery Support, and today we'll be discussing the Dummybus message lifecycle. This video is the final video in a four part series discussing the Dummybus message lifecycle. In this video, we'll be placing Dummybus in a situation where the receiving access point is offline permanently. As discussed in previous videos, when C2 sends a message to C3, the message adopts different statuses as it has been processed, from ready to send to waiting for receipt. In the situation where it is waiting for a receipt, it's expecting an acknowledgement from C3. In the event that C3 is unavailable, the message will go to send attempt failed, waiting for retry, and then it will resend the message. The number of times it goes through this process is defined in the P mode file. Now, in the situation where C3 is permanently unavailable, the message will migrate from waiting for receipt to send failure, because at this point it would have exhausted the set amount of retries that's been configured in the P mode file. When the message is in send failure, the message and payload may be kept or deleted depending on the configuration in the Dummybus properties file. This concludes the message lifecycle series. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation. If you require more information on Ceph eDelivery, please visit the link below. Should you also have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to submit them at Ceph eDelivery support at eceuropa.eu. Thank you very much and see you soon.